Oh, okay. Where, are you a neighbor? I'm the SOPC contractor. Brighton Fire Chief uh, Jim Smith, can you tell me, I guess, what we know about the fire as of yet? Absolutely. We got called in at 3.30 this morning for a structure fire. We got here, the structure was fully involved. Uh, we got here at uh, uh, 3.46, so just after, about uh, 13 minutes after the, we got dispatched. We got here and got water on the fire right away. Uh, right now, the, the fire is really stubborn to put out, uh, as you can well imagine, the cold weather and uh, stuff we're dealing with here. So it's going to take a little bit to get that fire out. Uh, we've had help from uh, Crammy and from Trent Hills uh, as mutual aid partners. We had 23 firefighters here this morning to help us out uh, with this. Most of the firefighters had to go off to work this morning, so there's only a few firefighters left on the scene right now to sort of put out those stubborn hot spots. What were conditions like? Um, it was minus 18, and they said minus 22 with the wind chill, which I don't believe. I think it was colder than that. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah, it's just uh, windy, snowy, uh, and of course cold. So. When, when firefighters arrived on scene, tell me about uh, what they were met with, I guess. Absolutely. So the uh, structure was fully involved uh, when they first arrived, and they started applying water. Uh, most of it was uh, flames were coming through the roof and through the windows. Uh, and this just started to collapse when the firefighters were making an attack. There were some propane tanks on the other side that were flaring off, so we had to take care of those as well. No explosion from the tanks? Uh, no explosion from the tanks, no. So I, I guess at this point it's just a uh, keep an eye on the hot spots. Correct, and we'll be nursing those hot spots for most of the day because a lot of the roof is down onto those hot spots, so we need to take care of that. At this point, OFM called in because of the not, well, because of no cause for the fire, but because also there is one person missing, can't, unaccounted for. Yes, so right now we're, we're uh, just uh, doing what we can till the OFM arrives and they can call the shots when they arrive. They're about four hours out, uh, so we'll see what happens when they get here.